Hey everybody, welcome back to RC's RC Cars. Today, we're not gonna waste any time. We're going to start building the three racing Cero Sport. And this is going to be the first video of the build series. We're gonna start with bag one, which is over here. We're also going to need the diff oil, which is in the remaining parts bag. So let's open these up. Okay, so we're starting with this, and then we have the outer joint, like that. And we're going to use a O-ring. Uh, pretty sure that's only going to be this one right here, and we're going to dip that into the ceramic grease. And then a shim, and a pin, and then the uh, belt gear. So let's do that. So I'm going to use this pair of tweezers. The tip is a little bent. All right, like that. And then we're going to add a shim. I believe it's going to be this larger shim right here. Uh, one M5 by 15.4. And I believe it's going to be this one. Yep. So it's going to be this shim right here. And then a pin. And sometimes with pin, you have to make sure you're getting the right one. And it looks like there's only one this time. Sometimes there's two pins. And if you don't look carefully you're going to be stuck on that step for a long time because a pin won't be able to pass through. It's happened to me more than once. Okay. Like that. And now we're going to put in the bevel gear 18 tooth. Let's see which one it's going to be. Uh, let's see. 18 tooth bevel gear. It's going to be this larger one. So it should be this one right here. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. So there's step one. See, step two is going to be this gear right here, a gear differential housing, and it should be this one right here. It's the uh, housing itself, so it's going to have the cavity in the middle. And we're going to do something similar. We're going to put that outer joint in here, and then the O-ring again. And I think this is where it's going to be a little bit more difficult than the last one. So let's put that in there first. So the difficulty with this part is we need to put the same pin. This time we have to kind of blindly put it in there um, with uh, inside the housing here. So. Let's go ahead and turn this and find the hole first. And I'm going to need to use my goggles. I'm gonna be using my uh, goggles right here. So I can see a little bit better and definitely helps if you have tweezers for this part. So I have the hole right here um, lined up with that. And let's see if I can do this in one try. Usually it takes me a few tries. All right, end up using uh, the pliers that has a little bit better grip on the pin. And I got it in there just like that. It wasn't hard once I changed to the pliers. Before when I used the tweezers, it was flying all over the place. All right, here we go. Now we need to uh, put that same gear on there, the 18 tooth gear. 
Let me find the other one. And should be this one right here. set this in here make sure the pin is centered um, so that the gear can sit all the way down all right okay so it should look like that all right now we're going to fill this with the diff oil. Make sure you grab the right one. It's the 5K one. It's also color-coded orange and yellow, so you really can't mess up with this. So we're going to fill this. Um, after installing the 18-tooth bevel gear, fill differential housing with enough oil to completely cover the 18-tooth bevel gear, as shown in the right diagram. So it should be just above the bevel gear. <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to do. See right here it shows the tweezers, but it's easier with pliers with teeth. So I'm just going to generously coat this. All right. Okay. So there we go. So that was step two. That's this over here. Now let's work on step three. So we're going to need this uh, cross pin, and I know I saw it here, here it is. So we need the four bevel gears, and then four uh, spacers or shims behind it. So let's cut these out first. I think I'm done with this. Okay, so I have all four gears right here, and they're going to face inwards. Like this. And then we're going to put the uh, shims behind it. So I need four of these. And they're very, very thin, so you have to be careful handling these. You don't want to bend these um, in any way. And then after we put these on, we're just going to drop it straight down into the housing. So one, two, three, four. There we go. And now we're just going to drop this straight into those grooves right there, like that. So it should look like this. Now we're going to put the gasket on and then close up the top. So here's that blue gasket. And of course we're gonna line it up with that, let me punch those uh, holes out first. Okay, and this is kind of a rubbery material. It's interesting. Okay, so, um, and before we do that, actually, we're going to top this off with, uh, after installing the 10, ten tooth Bevel gear, fill differential housing with enough oil to completely cover the cross pin as shown. The cross pin, of course, is this right here. So I okay, there we are. Let's line up the screw holes. Like that. 
and we're going to drop this on top. Oops. Make sure that doesn't fall out, of course. Sometimes it's easier for me to just stand up and do this stuff. All right, there we go. Okay, make sure all the screw holes and the gasket all line up. And then we're just going to put four screws in. And it's going to be these flathead screws right here. And And when you're tightening something like this, you don't want to go down and tight every screw one at a time. You want to kind of do it in a pattern. So I'm going to start with this side and then I'm going to go across. Then I'll zigzag back over here. And there we go. We're done with the diff right here. And the last step for this page is just going to put two bearings, one on each side. There, all the way in, and then the other one all the way in there, like that. Okay, oops. Yep. All right, let's go ahead and turn the page. All right, now we're going to build the center gear adapter and solid axle assembly. So let's start right here. Uh, I'm going to build the solid axle first. So it's going to be uh, putting this gear like that looks like this and it looks like it's going to be this one right here it's going to be putting these two gears together um, it looks like it's going to be this way like that it's going to sandwich in like that so these two sides it's kind of like a wall to um, hold the belt onto the wheel here so we're going to line up the uh, screw holes like that. Just going to line them up, keep turning them. And then it's easy to tell because of Cero. You can see the logo right here. I mean, you can see the uh, text right here. So it's going to come together like that. And then we're going to put the solid axle, which is going to be this right here. And it looks like uh, this side is straight. I don't know if you can see the difference. This side have the uh, little supports. So it's going to be this side right here. And it's going to go line up with the screw holes like that. And then the screws will come from this side. Aren't any screws left except these three. So it should be these three. So there it is, and it's going to look like this, and then we're going to put this, uh, these two outer joints, these two are plastic, well the other two was, um, I'm going to guess it's like a aluminum or something, but it is metal. These two are plastic, and they're just going to go in like this. And then the bearing will uh, come over. Ah, so this illustration is kind of funny. So the bearing is behind the joint, but in reality, it should go in first. In reality, it should go in here first. And then uh, 
the joint. This diagram's a little bit strange. Okay, then we need to drive this screw all the way through from this end. Okay, so this is rock solid right here. Very cool. And then the last part of bag one is going to be the spur gear adapter. So this is actually going to be the spur gear. Um, it's a 64 pitch 102 tooth spur. And that's what this is. Let's print it right there, 102. So we're going to put the gear adapter and the pulley together. And it looks like this is going to be the pulley. And this is going to be the gear adapter. Let's put those two together. And there are little stems there that goes into these three holes. There we go. Very well made. Everything comes together very clean. And then there's a brass spacer, which is this right here. And it goes in, whoops. Um, well, let's put in the flange uh, bearing first from the other side. So the side without the dots, this side is where the flange bearing will go in first. Then we'll fit in this brass spacer in there. And then we'll put in the bearing, like so. Um, okay, so let's see. Uh, so this is going to just come together like this. And that's it. And that's the assembled view. All right, so this is everything that we did for bag number one. We built the solid axle, we built the diff, and we built the spur gear adapter. All right, so that's it for this video. So if you're looking for more three racing Cerro Sport built videos, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.